I am ranked number one. One! That means I'm the best. Michael Hunter, 79 and a half inch reach, which is pretty um, decent. Six, six foot two. He came in at 221. Imagine that. We're calling Michael small heavyweight these days. It's crazy. Sergei Kuzman, however, is six foot four. Only has a 75 and a half inch reach. He came in at 259, which um, I think it needs to be addressed. I think, that, I think that needs to be addressed if he's to progress any further in the division. Mike won the first round. The feet were quicker. The hands were quicker. You know, Mike rolls from his toes to his heels and can move from out of the line of most of Sergei's big shots. Sergei did land, but Mike jabbed to the head, body, and landed hooks, and he won the first round. Second round, Kuzmin is trying to fight like he's got one punch, knockout power, and take Mike out with one shot. There are opportunities where he could put them together, but he's looking to hold and maul more than putting his punches together. He's looking for one opening and knock Mike out. He needs to get his hands going more, but that's all tied into his conditioning, I believe, as well. Hunter punctuated the second with a right uppercut, landed the jab regular, and put together some weighty-looking combinations, and he's looking good. He's looking good. Third was a better round for Kuzman. I didn't have him winning it, though. He, um... Tried to assert his size on Michael. And in one exchange, he was trying to put his weight on Michael. And Michael, as Sergio Mora pointed out, wisely took a knee and didn't let Kuzman lean all over him. And that saps the strength out of you eventually. You know. Um, Kuzman, in the exchanges, he landed um, a good left hook. And you could see the weight on his punches. But Mike was just too quick. He was landing that jab up and down. And he was just too quick. Just out pointed him. Fourth round, Kuzmin coming forward, trying to look intimidated behind the high guard. He's caught a hook and guessed that it didn't hurt him and a lot of that stuff, but he just doesn't have the hand speed. He just doesn't have the hand speed to compete. Can't cut the ring off either, so it's an uphill battle. They both landed good body shots, but Mike's just the busier with his hands and he's just not there to get hit with the type of shots that Kuzmin wants to wind up. Big left hook from Hunter puts... Kuzmin down, but he took the punch well and kept ticking, kept ticking and coming forward. Hunter is deceivingly clever. When he moves out of range, he'll drop the hands, but as he's coming back in, he'll get them right back up in position. So he's not having to have his hands up there constantly, which is pretty tiring. He's working well to the body. Although Kuzmin is very strong and taking the shots well, body shots are making him even slower to come forward if that's possible. Good performance by Hunter so far. 10-8 round. Sixth to seventh. Not the best round of boxing to watch. By the seventh, Hunter is ducking low to avoid the attacks. And Kuzmin still looking for that big shot. Seventh was the probably the most close round for Kuzmin. You could arguably give him a share of it, perhaps. Ninth. Once again, Hunter, the advantage in hand speed. Kuzmin was doing pretty well early. Then he let it, let it go. Hunter, you know, showboating, raising up the backhand, the right hand, lifting it up, and then trying to jab with the left. But he got caught with some big shots, showboating. Close round for me, very close. Hunter landed too much quick shots to give it, give Kuzmin the round, though. You know, Hassim Rutman at the end of the round told him, is this fight too easy for you? Don't play with it. He's still dangerous. And he's correct. He, he needs to cut the show boating out and try and close the show. He will box out a 12-round points win. We'll find a finishing punch as one of the two. Although apart from the knockdown, he's never really had Kuzmin in serious trouble. The commentary team made note of Kuzmin's body punching, and he needed way more of that. The head hunting has just been a wasted evening for him, head hunting so much, when the speed advantage is clearly with Michael Hunter. He takes the knife as well, so it's fight is out of reach in terms of points. He needs to put Michael Hunter on the floor about three times or a knockout. Hunter showing good technique again, jabbing from head to body. And he threw a lovely combination early on. Slow round, um, Kuzmin managed to catch him between one of his combinations, but once again, he was out punched in that exchange. Doesn't have the speed to catch 
My guy with the shot, he wants to catch him. I'm not sure, even sure if he has the power. He's landed, but Mike's at them, whatever he's landed. Ten rounds gone, very one-sided fight. We're going to the 11th. Mm, I don't know, you could throw Cosmin the 11th, maybe. Maybe. Quiet round for Hunter. Comptra team said that he followed Hunter around the ring, but I tend to say that he walked Cosmin onto a right uppercut. Good move. But, um... You know, Kuzmin's looking to muscle Hunter with his extra bulk. But when you look at the, um, I was going to say Martin Bacoli, no. Um, Ustinov, when he fought Ustinov, very big, big, about six foot five, six six, maybe taller. Big guy. That bulk is different because it's leverage and weight. Kuzmin just has weight, really. He did manage to push Michael Hunter to the floor, but once again... Hunter actually took the knee as much as he pushed him to the floor because he's not just going to let him lean on him for a prolonged time and set the strength. Hunter just took the knee and got back up and commenced fighting. Kuzmin just making it a little too easy for Hunter. One round to go. Hasn't really pushed Hunter out of his comfort zone. Hunter's been able to punch when he wants, rest when he wants, throw the jab and double it up and pose and look at his work. I expected a better fight from Kuzmin. I expected better. 12th round, pretty scrappy, both men fatiguing, not much clean work. Kuzman tried a big right, right over the top. Hunter blocked most of it, and he finished in the pocket, Hunter, with a fast hand flurry. Um, good win for Hunter, good 12 round win for Hunter. Not a very memorable fight, in all honesty, but he just beat an unbeaten guy. He was 15-0 and 0 with 11 KOs, so the scorecards tell a story. 110-117, all three judges. And it was that one-sided. It was that one-sided. Hunter ranked 8th by the WBA. And he'll definitely move up because they've got Kuzman in 5. So by the time they adjust that ranking, he'll be pretty high up in the pecking order for that Ruiz Joshua winner. 12th by the WBO, 10th by the IBF, 15th by the WBC. I think they've still got to um, update their rankings. So we should see him up higher. He keeps his run going at heavyweight. He's undefeated at heavyweight so far. Kuzmin, back to the drawing board, back to his conditioning. And let's see if he can do a bit better. Disappointing effort from Kuzmin, in all truth. Hunter's calling out Povetkin for that December the 7th undercard in Saudi Arabia. I'd like to see the fight. I would like to see the fight. But Povetkin ranked 7th by the WBC, 10th by the WBA. Is he going to go for it? I don't know. It would be a good fight to see. I don't know if he's going to go for it. Because it's going to be a very difficult fight. And probably not that far from being called up for an eliminator. If it was an eliminator, then I would suggest that Pavet can go for it. But I'm not sure if he will. I'm not advocating for the fight not to happen by no stretch of the imagination. But they're just not going to go for it, are they? They're not going to go for it like that. you know. Not unless they're paying him a bag load of money. Which, um... The zone have, and I think Eddie is interested in the fight. And listen, Povetkin ain't scared, but as long as they've got that bag, he'll be there. He'll be there. And it's a very difficult fight for Hunter. I'd say Povetkin goes in his favourite, to be honest with you. Tough fight, though. I'm not picking it yet. <laughs> I'm not making no predictions on it yet. I'd love to see it on that card, though.